hi guys welcome back to my channel yes i'm back it's been such a long time but i'm back and today we're going to be making a wrap top pattern it's really easy and simple and beginner friendly i know i say this every video but it really is and make sure to subscribe like and comment if you found this video helpful thank you okay for your measurement the first measurement you're going to need is your shoulder measurement and you're going to divide that by two so for example if your shoulder is 14 inches you're going to divide that by two and then the next measurement you're going to need is your shoulder to bust and then your shoulder to waist measurement you're also going to need your bust measurement divide that by four and you're going to need your waist measurement divided by four as well okay for your materials you're going to need a french curve a curved ruler a straight ruler a measuring tape and your measurements you're also going to need pattern or craft paper pencil and you're going to need tape or pattern weights if you have to hold your pattern down first thing you fold your pattern paper into two next step create your shoulder line one inch from the edge and then draw a straight line From your shoulder line, mark your shoulder to bust measurement. Mine was 10 inches and then draw a straight line. Next step, you're going to impute your shoulder to waist measurement. So your waist measurement is where you want your peplum to start from mark that down on your paper and draw a straight line then I move on to the neckline I'm going to mark four by four inches so four inches wide and four inches depth and then I'm going to grab my French curve and I'm going to draw a round neck by connecting both points together. Next, we're going to move on to our shoulders. So get your shoulder measurement, divide that by two, and mark that on the shoulder line. So mine came up to eight inches. And then at that point, I'm going to come down by one inch, and that's where I'm gonna draw my shoulder slope because your shoulder is in a straight line, it slopes down. And I'm going to connect that point to my neckline in order to make my shoulder slope. Moving on, I'm going to start working on my armhole curve. So right on the bust line, I'm marking eight inches, which is the same measurement I used for my shoulder. And I'm going to use that in order to help me create my ham or curve so i'm just going to draw a straight line from my shoulder to my bust line next i'm going to take the midpoint of that line i just drew so i'm going to take the middle mark the middle point From that middle point I'm going to mark one and a half inch in so if you have smaller breasts you use one and a half inches and that's what I used here for my client but if you're more on the bustier side use three quarter of an inch so three over four inches so now go back to your bust line and impute your bust measurement so make sure you divide your bust measurement by four impute it on your bust line then get your french curve 
and connect all three points so you're going to connect from your shoulder slope to the midpoint to the bust line connect all three points with your french curve that's our armhole curve done so next step i'm just going to go ahead and create the dots here you just divide your nipple to nipple measurement by two and then you're going to mark that point on your bust line and your waistline then from that point on your bust line you're going to come down by one inch and then connect from that very point down to your waistline with a straight line now to draw the dart legs from that straight line on your waistline you're going to mark half an inch on both sides and then from both points you're going to merge it into the first line like so the next step is you're going to use a tracing wheel and you're going to go over all the lines this transfers your measurement to the other side of your pattern and then fill in the lines on the other side after tracing this tracing rule is very inexpensive you can get one online at your local fabric store or if you don't have one you can always just repeat the same steps you did on this side on the other side so here i'm just finishing off my dots on the other side and tracing everything from that other from that first side to the other side okay guys so the next thing i do is just to open up my pattern so i forgot to tell you that you should impute your waist measurement after everything so add one inch for your dot and one inch for your sewing allowance so add two inches to your waist measurement and then connect it to your bust point just like i'm doing here and do that for the other side as well so the next step you decide what side you want to create your curve this actually doesn't matter you can do the left or the right side but i chose the right side because i felt that was easier so i chose the right side and then from that right hand side dot from that middle point i measure two inches outside outward and from that new point i measure two inches up just going to grab my curved ruler and from my left neckline I'm going to draw a curved line right to that new point I made you can use a straight ruler if you don't have a curved ruler but I think a curved ruler is better it makes it prettier but you can use a straight line if you want a straight ruler if you want And I just draw a straight line connecting that point to my waistline. Next, I'm just going to add one inch allowance to the bottom of my pattern, so to my waistline, so to accommodate for my joining allowance. And then just cut your pattern out. So you cut the wrap side out. Thank you. 
so remember to label on your pattern that you're going to need to so remember that when cutting your material now that we're done with the front pattern we're going to cut the back pattern this time you're not folding anything and you're just going to start from the edge of the paper so i'm literally doing the same thing i did from the start of the video i'm going to draw the shoulder line but the neckline here will be one inch deep because it's the back you're going to draw a slope your one inch slope remember going to mark your bust line you're going to draw your waistline remember to leave allowance as well at the bottom impute your measurements with allowance so impute your bust measurement with sewing allowance as well and then your waist include your waist measurement plus two inches so one inch for your dart allowance and one inch for sewing allowance here i'm just cross checking and making sure everything is right and equal with the front pattern next i'm just going to draw my ammo curve this is a little bit different because it's the back so instead of going half an inch in like i did with the front pattern there's no need to do that here because your back is flat so i found the midpoint for that line i drew and then i just connected the line with the french curve and i created my armhole that's it done and then the last step is just for you to draw in your dots cut out the pattern and that's it we're done the front and back wrapped up pattern created easy peasy right <laughs> Alright, so tune in for the next video there. I'll be cutting the sleeves and showing you how to cut a peplum and sewing the top, putting everything together. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.